Hello! Today I chose another book about dinosaurs. The book that we read the other day was more facts about dinosaurs. This one is a story with um, a problem and a problem being solved by the end of the story, which you find a lot in fiction stories. So this story is meant to entertain us. Okay, so look at it. Look at that picture. Do you think that this book is going to be real or make-believe? Yeah, it's definitely going to be make-believe because do people ride dinosaurs? <laughs> no. People and dinosaurs were not even around at the same time. So we know that this is going to be a make-believe story or a fiction story. All right, let's look at the back cover. Here we see that main character is riding on the dinosaur again. Okay, so the title of my book is Danny and the Dinosaur. That's the name of the book or the title. So who do you think that is right there? That must be Danny. So it looks like we have two main characters, Danny and the Dinosaur. Look here, just one person's name, Sid Hoff. Sid Hoff wrote the words. Sid Hoff is the author. Look at the pictures. It's gonna have some really colorful pictures inside. Those pictures were drawn by Sid Hoff. Sid Hoff is also the illustrator. Okay, so let's check it out. Danny and the Dinosaur by Sid Hoff. Okay, here's my title page. And we see Danny leaving his house. Danny and the Dinosaur, story and pictures by Sid Hoff. One day, Danny went to the museum. He wanted to see what was inside. Have you ever been to a museum? We have some wonderful museums in Houston. Maybe um, sometime you'll get to go. Danny saw Indians, he saw bears, he saw Eskimos. So a museum is a place to learn about things. He saw guns and swords and he saw, what do you think he saw? Dinosaurs! Danny loved dinosaurs. He wished he had one. I'm sorry they are not real, said Danny. It would be nice to play with a dinosaur. And I think it would be nice to play with you, said a voice. Can you, said Danny. Yes, said the dinosaur. Oh, good, said Danny. What can we do? I could take you for a ride, said the dinosaur. He put his head down so Danny could get on him. Let's go, said Danny. A policeman stared up at them. He had never seen a dinosaur stop for a red light. <laughs> Look at the policeman. How is he feeling? Surprised. The dinosaur was so tall Danny had to hold up the ropes for him. Look out, said Danny. Uh-oh, when you're that tall, there's a new set of problems, like a clothesline. Bow wow, said a dog. Can you see the dog? He thinks you're a car, said Danny. Go away, dog, we're not a car. I can make a noise like a car, said the dinosaur. Honk, honk, honk. What big rocks, said the dinosaur. They are not rocks, said Danny. They are buildings. I love to climb, said the dinosaur. Down, boy, said Danny. So our story takes place in a city. That's the setting for our story. The dinosaur had to be very careful not to knock over houses or stores with his long tail. 
Some people were waiting for a bus. They rode on the dinosaur's tail instead. That'd be pretty fun, huh? All who want to cross the street may walk on my back, said the dinosaur. Like boys and girls. He made a bridge. It's very nice of you to help me with my bundles, said a lady. So look, there's a lady. She's got lots of things to carry. And he gave her a lift. It's pretty useful. Danny and the dinosaur went all over town and had lots of fun. It's good to take an hour or two off every hundred million years, said the dinosaur. They even looked at the ball game. Hit the ball, said Danny. Hit a home run, said the dinosaur. So look, they're at a baseball game. Oh, remember letter U? We had the umpire. There's the umpire. He's making sure that the teams follow the rules. I wish I had a boat, said Danny. Who needs a boat? I can swim, said the dinosaur. Toot, toot, went the boats. Toot, toot, went Danny and the dinosaur. Look, there's a drawbridge. The drawbridge had to open up so the dinosaur could go through. Oh, what lovely green grass, said the dinosaur. I haven't eaten any of that for a very long time. Wait, said Danny. See what it says. Boys and girls, do you see the sign? It says, please keep off. So he can't eat that grass. They both had ice cream instead. Let's go to the zoo and see the animals, said Danny. Everybody came running to see the dinosaur. Nobody stayed to see the lions. Nobody stayed to see the elephants. Nobody stayed to see the monkeys. And nobody stayed to see the seals, giraffes, or the hippos either. Please go away so the other animals will get looked at, said the zoo man. Hmm. Let's find my friend, said Danny. Very well, said the dinosaur. There they are, said Danny, riding on a dinosaur. Look at Danny riding on a dinosaur, said a child. Maybe he will give us a ride. May we have a ride, asked the children. I'd be delighted said the dinosaur. Hold on tight, said Danny. Around and around and around the block ran the dinosaur. Faster and faster and faster. This is better than a merry-go-round, the children said. <sighs> the dinosaur was out of breath. Teach him tricks, said the children. Danny taught the dinosaur how to shake hands can you roll over on your back? Asked the children. That's easy, said the dinosaur. He's smart, said Danny, patting the dinosaur. Let's play hide and seek, said the children. How do you play it? Said the dinosaur. We hide and you try to find us, said Danny. The dinosaur covered his eyes and the children ran to hide. See where they're hiding? The dinosaur looked and looked, but he couldn't find the children. I give up, he said. Now it's the dinosaur's turn to hide. The children covered their eyes. The dinosaur hid behind a house. The children found him. He hid behind a sign. The children found him. Do you see the sign? It says, brush your teeth every day. <laughs> he hid behind a big gas tank. The children found him. They found him again and again and again. I guess there's no place for me to hide, said the dinosaur. Let's make believe that we can't find him, Danny said. The children pretended. Where can he be? Where, oh, where is that dinosaur? Where did he go? We give up, said the children.